All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the final war of season... What season was this, 18? Uh, so this war, we were up against NYC. Uh, we had basically no chance for third place. We would have needed a lot of unusual stuff to happen, so we just wanted kind of a clean clear for our final war uh, and just to get the win. So I have Corvus. He's going to do all my fights. Uh, and then Medusa with Black Bolt. This is because NY places Warlock bosses. Uh, if you watched my very first war of the season, we faced the same alliance, and they placed a rank 3 Warlock boss that I took with Medusa. So that is what I will be doing in this war. Of course, uh, my main main priority this war is to not die, because I do have, at this point, a perfect season. Um, I was 83-0 and coming into this war. The record for the most fights without a death in a season is 84-0 and by Brian Grant. But in order for me to beat that, um, I'd have to finish the war deathless, right? If I get to 87-0 and and then die, you know, that still wouldn't, wouldn't beat that. So I'm going to boost pretty good for this whole war, especially for the end fights. Um, I was super, super nervous last war, and again this war, because of the deathless season. Uh, the one good thing about this war is that my early fights were all super, super easy fights. Um, the reason I'm going to kind of slow play this fight and kind of back off is you can see when I have the weakness on me uh, right here, especially when there's two of them. It is healing me, which is cool, but the damage is really uh, gimped. So I, And I don't want to risk, like, not that I would time out or anything, but I just didn't want to kind of mess with it. Um, the weakness does give you, give you a nice heal, so it lets you finish up full health. I wanted to get the weakness off before um, finishing the fight with the special two. Uh, I am running max recoil at this point in the war because I do feel like, for the most part, for Corvus it's better. He is going to finish most fights with one SP2. I did not take the Void. Uh, Wally came and took him with Archangel because we always take that fight linked with Buffet, and Corvus is obviously horrendous against Buffet. So the next fight is this. Aggression Fury Medusa. Um, really, really simple fight. Uh, if I had Proxima, I might have considered letting her auto block me and combo me to get the charge, but I didn't have Medusa, so I wasn't going to do anything crazy. Uh, just heavies once she has the three Furies. Uh, here I didn't even risk fully evading it. I wasn't sure if I was far enough. Just block it, you know, because her SP2 can. Uh, it's super, super hard, and she stuns you, so if you do mess up, it can one-shot you. Which is why I just blocked it and took the damage. No big deal. Uh, so then I was on path 4, which has that Thor Ragnarok. That is a rank 3 Thor Ragnarok. Uh, NY, I believe, is number 1 in prestige, so they have a lot of rank-ups uh, like Thor, who's obviously terrible. Uh, so there's nothing on this node. Again, I could have tried to intercept him to try to get the auto block charge. Um, but I really wasn't worried about it. I didn't think I needed it. So I'm just going to a couple of hits, bait SP1. Um, kind of my main priority is to make sure that I let the bleed uh, tick all the way down so I can heal as much as possible. Uh, that's really the only thing with this fight. Obviously, you know, I don't want him to get to 20 of his power charges. Because uh, I don't want him to potentially get an SP3. Of course, that's not very likely to happen. Uh, so that's it for the Thor fight. So so far, so good. Uh, the next fight is against a Corvus, actually. It's a nice little mirror matchup. Uh, Corvus is not a good defender, but uh, I do see people occasionally die to him. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it, it does happen. So I'm not going to do anything too interesting here. Um, I do get a nice intercept right there. And then I get another one right there. So that was that was pretty fun. Uh, Dex is SP1. So perfect start. That was the first time I actually got touched uh, was that parry. And the fight's over. So actually only one uh, one time, uh, one parry, and that's it. No blocked hits, No no nothing else. So pretty good, obviously, super, super easy fight, uh, just diversity placement. So the next fight is this rank 3 Nick Fury. Now you can see that I go in, 
and he still was linked. Um, I, for whatever reason, may, maybe nerves or whatever, forgot um, that he's still linked from Path 6, uh, that Legacy was taking. And I nearly went into this fight. Uh, you can see uh, after I finished boosting. So this was going to be for two fights. Um, this Nick Fury fight and the next fight, which was an OGV. Uh, I do waste another cosmic power boost uh, for no reason, because that is mostly what I do with them, is uh, throw them away into the trash. Uh, I think maybe, I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. So I checked the nodes. I was about to go in, and then I realized, like, wait, why does he have so much health? And so I back out, and I'm like, wow. I nearly went into this Nick Fury fight linked. Uh, he would have been linked with no retreat. So I could have certainly still done the fight, but my God, how stupid would it have been to go into that fight against the linked rank three Nick Fury? Good God. But I realized it and then <laughs> went in after uh, Legacy finished that Ebony Maw. So the main thing for me in this fight uh, I've taken it before, and just in general against Nick Fury, but especially when he's unblockable, of course, is I don't want him to ever have one bar of power when he's unblockable. If he has zero, that's obviously great. If he has two, that's fine. But I do not ever want him to have um, just one bar, because then he's going to you know, throw the unblockable. Got a nice intercept there. That was pretty sweet. Uh, that was actually intentional. I was a little late on that... Uh, on that heavy punish, or on that uh, parry punish, because uh, I had forgotten that the limited immunity had run out. So right here, I'm going to try to kill him, and I do not, uh, but there I do. Push him to two bars, now he's unblockable, so everything here is perfect. He throws the SP2. I do a five hit combo into my SP2, and he's dead. So perfect fight, uh, pretty much couldn't have gone any better. So first five fights were all really good, no issues. Uh, so this next fight is this OGV. He's of course a control defender. Um, you actually could Medusa him. He's stun immune, but he's not uh, debuff immune. But I'm gonna Corvus him. I do throw on an invuln. Uh, the only reason I used the invuln was because of the perfect season. Otherwise I would not have used one in this fight. Because uh, one SP2 is not going to kill me, or one SP3 is not going to kill me. Uh, so I throw on the invuln boost, and the plan is to never get him, let him get three flow charges. Uh, two is okay, one is one is fine. His specials are obviously really easy to dodge. Uh, the problem with kind of my strategy, though, of doing like one or two hits and backing off to try to get a parry, is that actually I shouldn't have been backing off. Uh, I did miss a parry there, but. No big deal. Uh, he's almost dead, down to 68% already. Um, so once he throws this SP2, we are in the clear. Uh, I never got heavied. Uh, my dexes were all on point. Um, he was never in danger of getting to three bars of power, really. So there he throws an ending medium, and uh, that's it. Didn't need the invuln boost, uh, so that fight went great. Um, I played overall really, really well this war. Uh, this was my best war of the season in terms of just like how few mistakes I made in the fights. So at this point, now uh, this was kind of the main event. I had two fights left. This Iron Man, uh, which I was not worried about. Uh, and then, of course, the rank three Warlock boss that I was worried about. Uh, the potions were not necessary, but again, I was you know too worried about the perfect season. So I am going to max boost uh, everything I have because if I died to, say, Warlock when he has like 2% health left and I could have survived if I had a little more health on Medusa, um, I would be crying for about a year or so. Wasn't going to take any chances. I'm going to put on a, my only 25% uh, health boost. Uh, no problem. No hesitation to, to use the boosts. And then a 30% boost, of course. I'm also going to show you my mastery. So the mastery setup is strictly for the Medusa fight. Uh, because I need to use a power start one, I can't change masteries mid-war or mid-fight. Sorry, not mid-fight. I can't change masteries after the um, Iron Man fight. 
So here's my offensive tree. I did max uh, precision. Usually I run either zero or two. Max courage. I max the fury mastery. Uh, not this one, but the how long the, the fury duration. I did not go max recoil. I actually kind of debated that for a bit um, because in theory in the Medusa fight, you, you only want to use one special one and then special threes. So maxing recoil actually would help, but I ended up not doing it. And then only one in uh, glass cannon because I wanted the health. I maxed perfect block. I put seven points into greater health, again, just for more health. And then the proficiency tree is empty except for just parry and dexterity. So you don't need stupefy, obviously. The last two fights are both stun immune. So this Iron Man fight, this is just a rank five. Uh, I only clicked on Medusa to see how much health she had, that's all. So I put on the power start one boost, and here we go. Uh, two fights for a perfect season. Um, I am going to let him hit me to start this fight, just to build my power a bit. Uh, he only does a three hit combo. <clears throat> um, because of the flow change, these types of fights are actually much more doable, whereas last season this fight would not have been doable because I can turn off his flow whenever I need to. And then five hit combo, SB2, fight is over. So really straightforward, simple fight. Uh, everything went great. And then the one I was the most nervous about, of course, was the boss. Because, you know, it's going 90 and 0 uh, is pretty difficult. No one's ever done it. There's a reason no one's ever done it. Um, because it's hard, right? There's a lot of variance in fights. There's a lot of RNG. Just because you play well doesn't mean you're not going to die. You can play well and die. You can play poorly and win. So in this fight, the goal is um, two mediums, special one to shatter him. Once he's shattered, he cannot gain power. You will notice because I don't have willpower, I'm losing health from the bleeds and I'm not gaining any health. So the if I die in this fight, what will most likely kill me is if I mess up evading his heavy. If one of the times he throws a heavy, I just don't evade it. So I got a nice intercept there. Uh, that was a little weird interaction. Um, I think he was like trying to throw a heavy. I don't know. Um, but I survived. And then here's the SP3. So at this point, I was like, okay. You know, as long as I don't screw this up completely, we should be good. Um, I'm almost in courage range. Got a sweet intercept there. Uh, I was feeling a little, uh, feeling myself a little, I guess. <laughs> um, no crits on that combo, so that was kind of annoying. So now I'm in courage range, and now you'll see the damage really start. You'll see right here. Uh, no, actually, no. Next combo. Uh, here. 16k medium, 10k light, 16k medium. Um, I thought this wouldn't kill him because I missed the bonus damage. Uh, but because of the extra damage from Courage, he's dead. Uh, so after this, I was super, super excited, super happy. A uh, ton of relief. Um, I was super nervous these last two wars. Uh, especially, you could see in the NY war, or the previous war, War 11, I played poorly in a lot of the fights. But in this war, um, everything went great. Uh, I played really well. Uh, I knew there was people watching <laughs> watching this fight. You can see Bryn right when I finished uh, with the exclamation points. So I was super pumped. Um, really cool. Really proud of my season. And yeah, uh, I'll show you the stats here in a second. There's Enzo with a hooray. I had to show you uh, the old Enzo hooray. Uh, so let's go to the stats. So here is the stat sheet. So we finished 91-0. and 0. This is a record uh, for the most kills without a death in a season. The previous record was 84. 100% solar rate. Never changed all season. Really, really cool. Uh, this 111 true difficulty rating was second in the alliance behind B-Manny. Uh, he took more fights than me, and he took harder fights. He took more bosses. Uh, the solar rate bonus... Um, is what made my PR really high, so 128. This is higher than my season five, which had been the record um, up until last season. It is, however, not higher than Bryn, 
uh, who was at, I believe, 132.32 last season. So I did not get to the record. But I, I do hold the number two and the number three spots all time, which is pretty cool. Uh, my true difficulty rating, partly because of the boss, uh, bumped up to 1.23, which is, of course, really solid. Uh, 1.2 is average. 1.3 is very hard. Um, so this this means, you know, on average, like, I wasn't just taking the easiest fights on the maps. You know, I was taking some good fights. Um I finished number one, both in BG3 and in the Alliance, and I did not use units on any potions this war, uh, which is pretty cool. So only 3,500 units were spent on potions for the season. I had expected about 6,000, so pretty happy about that. I also spent about 1,000 units, probably somewhere around there, on those 30% or those 30-minute, uh, no, sorry, the 30-unit six-hour boosts. So that brings it up to about 4,500, and I spent about eight or 900 on the Red Guardian Arena. Uh, so I checked my War 1 video, and I have about 200 units more right now than I had when the season started. So uh, over the course of this month, uh, from doing Arena, I gained about 6,000 units, uh, which is pretty good because... Um, it was also helped, I guess, by a couple of uh, arena grinds, although I never seem to get many units from uh, the arena crystals when I do those grinds. Uh, but that'll do it for this video. I'll make another video uh, with the rewards, and then I'll probably have another separate video to kind of summarize the season, go over some of the stats, show kind of all of the cards that I've gotten. I did get a silver card for this war. Uh, of course, B Manny got the gold card. And yeah, I'll show you all that stuff uh, in the summary video. So thanks to, for everyone who was watching this season. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the season. It was a really fun, fun ride. Um, the fact that the first time I tried to make war videos for my whole season, I didn't die is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.